The day I decided to pay for a hoe. Lessons in gardening. Before I get into the moral of the story, let's start with some general information about hoes. Hoes are filthy objects, mainly because they've been working the dirty end of town all day, that is, the gardens. As dirty as hoes may be, they do a wonderful job of keeping weeds at bay without having to bend down and grab them. There are several types of hoes, square, wide, bar-shaped, V-shaped. The latter happens to be my favorite. Hoes are essential to keep bushes under control. But anyway, let's get into the story. It was a hot Florida summer day. I had borrowed my friend's hoe and I was enjoying it, reaping, sowing, reaping, sowing, reap, sow, reap, sow, reap, sow, and eventually I came to my senses. I realized, wouldn't it be better if I had my own hoe? By sharing a hoe, we're spreading our garden germs onto the hoe and then all throughout each other's gardens. So off I went to Home Depot. The guy there showed me the hoe section. He excitedly said, let me show you these hoes on the side. Now these side hoes are real beauties. I have one at home and I've got this huge bush and my side hoe always keeps my bush under control. So I took my hoe home. When I got it home, I had a lovely time. Reaping, sowing, reaping, sowing, you see how it goes. I got so attached to my hoe, I decided to name it. I named it Jillian Sparkles. One day, I was out in the garden, reaping and sowing, business as usual. When suddenly, my hoe hit the most moist spot in the garden. Too moist for my liking. I got so mad at my hoe, I cursed like a seaman. You know, like a sailor. So eventually, me and Jillian Sparkles parted ways. The moral of the story is, if you're going to use a hoe, use your friends. It's best if they're broken in a bit, so that they know what you want in and around your garden. Actual school paper, written by Ryan Rafels my junior year may or may not be based on a true story